Race nine, the Betfred listed chase. It's over three miles and a furlong. So five year olds and up, and Tara's man is number one for Alex Cherry. Law Lay Sound for Darren Thompson is two. Aaron Muerta for Molly at Surfer is three. Argyle Gate for Jim Murray is four. Maximum Impact for Joshua Sutherland is five. No Pain, No Gain for Graham Clutterbuck is six. And Some Lady for Alex Cherry makes up seven. Here at Ink Tree, over three miles and a furlong. They're already away. Let's see how many of them get round. They're into the first. Everybody's up and over it. Poor jump by Lawley Sound. So plenty of time to get back into this race. I'm going to go for two pull-ups. You should actually have a book on it. And I'll go for two pull-ups. The first one I ran about ten foot, ten and a half furlongs. Let's see if we're right. They're over the second of the 17 they have to make. It's our goal gate that leads us with Jim Murray. Three now to Rawley Sound out wide. Inside of that is Aaron Muerta, Tara's man. Maximum impact, no pain, no gain. Just some lady towards the rear. We go past the winning post shortly. They get over that one. Through three, not quite successful. There's the winning post. Rah! Next time round. Take the sharp left turn here, Aintree. Just probably the worst left turn. It's a hairpin. We're being led by Argyle Gate of the Gate family. There's been plenty of gate horses. It's Argyle that's the one that's going to lead us by about six. No pain, no gain against the fence. Maximum impact on the outside of that. And just a length or so ahead from Erin White, Tara's man, and Lawley Sound Wide. And then just some lady. So Alex Jerry's got a couple in this. Tara's man and some lady to pick up some prize money and even maybe win it but it's a listed event and of equal weights here you'd probably imagine Josh and Josh Thompson and uh, Murray will uh, maybe fight out the first three places they go over that one but the one that took it really bad was no pain no gain he certainly would have received a little bit of pain there and now we're going to ride on board no pain no gain I think we think he may well have a bit of a tumble he gets to the six. He jumps that one better. That oh, was the fifth, sorry. They come up to the six now. Cut over a couple of miles still to travel. Plenty of crowd on the left. And he gets over that one well. So maybe he's not going to have a little tumble. But it's still our goal gate up front. Although Lawley Sounds moved into the second on his own now from Tara's man in third. With a maximum impact, Aaron Water. Some lady in the pain, no gain of the rear. And he's got really nowhere to go. They get to the seventh. All over that. Well, they sounds drawn alongside our gate now. Although he's coming uh, in and out. Got jockeymanship there. As our goal gate still leads us. Well, they sound in second to Horace Man, some lady. Maximum impact, Everett Water, and no pain, no gain. Oh, and he's gone. No pain, no gain's gone. We knew he was going to fall. And he has. Bad luck, great. So, we're down to six. favoured pull-up zone. Argyle Gate gets over the 7th, ninth. well. Leads by about 5 to Tara's man, or they sound on the inside. Some lady here and worth that. A maximum impact, just a length or so off the pack. But uh, nothing to worry about with a mile and a half still to travel. Argyle Gate. Looks past the winning post again. Lead them out, they go over the 10th. Up and over it. And now we're into pull-up zone and there he goes and the first one to go down is Tara's man I'm sorry Alex it was going to happen anyway mate you get to about 10 furlongs at 10.3 and always somebody pulls up so we still may lose a further but it's a whole cold gate from Lawley Sound some lady maximum impact and Aaron Werther just five of them now and we'll get a bit of money if they get round just over a mile left to travel Sound and some lady in Aero Muerta inside the mile. It's our goal gate. And another six fence to challenge them to get over. As they lead down to the next. It's our goal gate. Up over it nicely. Maximum impact in second. Oh, 
Charlie Sound is third. It's on Lady Four. Rumwood to five. So six and a half furlongs. Well, Gate just steps off the bridle a little bit to get over that one. Pushed himself into the twelfth. Can run down to the thirteenth now. He's still got a couple of lengths advantage from Maximum Impact and Lawley Sound. Go over the thirteenth. Not unlucky for anyone. And it's Argyle Gate by right, two to Maximum Impact. By further two back to Lawley Sound. Three then back to Erin Werter and some lady a little bit further still. So it's Argyle Gate by a couple. Inside the four and a half, they get to the 14th. He jumps it slowly. Lawley Sound jumped it really well, but went up the back of Argyle Gate. But got a little bit of room now and moves on the outside of him. So Argyle Gate and Lawley Sound both off the bit now inside the four and start to head for home. Maximum Impact's also off the bit, but doesn't seem to have a lot left. And he's about three to four lengths off the leaders. I can't see some lady or Aaron were to over the 15th. A much better jump by Lawley Sound. He gets away from it better and has given himself a two length advantage. Two to jump. It's Lawley Sound from Argyle. Argyle Gate, Maximum Impact trying to run on now. Inside the two furlongs, it's Lawley Sound from Argyle Gate. Maximum Impact eating into the ground a little bit in there, but a better jump this time by Argyle Gate. Pulls him inside of Lawley Sound. On the outside is Maximum Impact. It's between these three, a fellow and a half to run. It's Argyle Gate, Lawley Sound, Maximum Impact. Argyle Gate heads for home again inside the furlong, the one to jump. He has a little look round. He's still got to get over the last from Maximum Impact. He's making up the ground. Good jump there, but Maximum Impact was over it faster and pulls along. Side. Maximum impact, Argyle Gate, maximum impact by a nose, maximum impact, maximum impact takes it, I think, from Argyle Gate in second, Lawley Sound was third, running on some lady and Aaron Wurter for the small prizes of fourth and fifth. And went for Josh Sutherland, it's two in a bounce, I think he takes that one, oh, there's a stewards, ooh, a stewards with only five horses, did he have his whip on the right side, I haven't seen a DQ yet this year. And we've not seen one here either. So maximum impact takes for Joshua Sutherland. Rated 165 already. It's going to be well up. The, it's going to be the top horse of the season, I think. Argyle Gate for Jim Murray's second. Laurel Sanford, Darren Thompson was third. Some lady. 